Godot 4 has removed tween. Um, as you can see, there's no longer a tween for Godot 4. Um, if you try searching up the node, it's not there. So what happened to it? Well, in this video, I'm going to answer that. So tween is no longer a node that you can add. However, tween is still in the in Godot 4. Um, as you can see here, this is the documentation for it. And in this video, I'm going to be going over these four functions that are going to be very useful moving forward in Godot 4. So the first thing you want to want to do to actually create a tween is say variable tween so, uh, equal get tree dot create tween. And that's how you create a tween. You can actually remove the get tree, but I'm going to leave that anyways. And um, you always have to make sure that you set a variable to it. So you have to actually create a variable as the tween. Okay, so the first thing we have in our scene is we're going to have a node, a camera, so we can zoom out a little bit, and we have a label that which we're going to be using later on. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to learn about the tween property. So this, I believe, used to be interpolate property, but now it's called tween property. So to do, so what we're doing essentially is we're going to be passing three through four things: the object. So you can see the object here, the which is for this case is self, right? The We want to move the icon itself, so the sprite, or, uh, sorry, next is the property itself. So which property are we going to tween? So in this case, we're going to tween the position. You can tween whatever you want, but if we look here, we can see a bunch of different things that we can tween, the H frame, position, rotation, scale, skew. You can tween pretty much anything that has a number. Um, I'm not actually sure about Booleans. I haven't tried that before. It's, it would seem a bit weird to tween a Boolean, but I guess if you want to try that, you go for it. Um, and then this is going to be the final value. So sorry, let me get that up. So see here, we have the final value. So this is the final value we're going to tween to, and then the duration. So in this case, we're just going to do one second. So this is the final position that we want this position to be. So before in Godot 3, we had initial position and final position. However, now we only get to give it the final position. So it's going to take the current position that it's at, which is 288 and 136, and we're going to move it to 0, 0300. So now when I play, it's just going to move it down to 0, 0300 within one second. And if I want it to go faster, I'll do like 0 0.1 and it'll just go and uh, you could barely see it there but that's pretty much how you do interpolate the property now so next up i'm going to use a different example this is basically just going to uh, let me we paste it. This is basically going to just, it's the same thing. It's just going to take the vector right times 300, and then we're going to durations one second. And now we have a few other functions that we can do is as relative dot set uh, trans because set trans is still in, in here in good 04. So now if we do this, it'll be a bit smoother. So um, if you guys want to look at the set trans, there's a bunch of different ones. It's kind of a graph looking thing. Um, I'm not going to go through that this video, but if you want to look that look that up, you're more than welcome to. Um, one of my favorite ones are trans linear and trans sign. So I think linear, there we go. And elastic. Elastic is also quite nice. So linear will just go all in all at once kind of whereas you can see the difference between trans uh, linear and trans sign. So now we'll have kind of a more bumpy thing i suppose okay the next tw uh, property or function we're going to go through is tween um interval so this is basically just before you would if you wanted to pause your code you would have used um not break they changed it to a wait so now you have a wait but now you can do tween interval this will basically pause the the code and do something after so now what we can do is we'll actually put this before and then we'll say tween interval. So we're going to pause the tween for two seconds and then we're going to go to this one after two seconds. So let's try that. So it's going to wait two seconds and then it's going to move. Okay. So that's tween interval. Now what about callback? Well, callback is actually quite useful because now we can see, we'll basically ask the tween, okay, when something happens or when something finish, when the tween finishes doing something, we're going to, we're going to call something. We're going to do something, right? So in this case we can queue free. So we're going to actually have to remove this because I think that will activate after the two seconds. So now it's going to move and then queue free. So you can call a function. So if you made a function that was like, um, my function, and then you want it to queue free in that function or do whatever in that function, you can just do this instead. So you would call my function inside the callback and say my function. Now you don't call it like this. You just call the function by the name and it'll add the brackets on its own. And so there, there you go. It'll queue free. Okay, lastly, the last part um, is tween method. I'm not actually sure if this was um, in Godot 3, but uh, it's quite a cool addition. So essentially, we're going to create a tween. Um, so here we don't need the tree, but now we can say tween method. We're going to call a method through that. And this is almost the same as callback, but we're not going to only go on the callback. 
this is going to allow us to also pass through different variables. So in that function, this is what we're going to do. We're going to set the label text with a value, and then we're going to um, pass through the text and say count equals uh, or plus value. So we're going to set the value, and then we're going to make sure to convert from int to string. Otherwise, we're going to... Um, uh, what do you call it or error so here this is going to set delay so set delay here we'll remove this actually for now and then we'll add that in the next one so this is going to count from 0 to 10 in one second that's essentially what it's doing so here if i take that out it'll say method from 0 to 10 and then duration 1 right so it's going to pass through these numbers or these things through this uh into this method right so if I wanted to pass through strings, I think I could do that, but it might be a bit harder. It would be better to do numbers and integers. So in this case, it'll pass through 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 within one second. So if I want to do it a little slower, let's do like three seconds. Let's play. And now it'll count to 10 within three seconds. So if I did 10 seconds or within 10 seconds, it would count by one every one second. So one, two, three, I'm not going to play that, but yeah. So, and now we have set delay, which is essentially the same as uh, tweet interval, but this is just in the same line and it's going to set a delay for two seconds. So it's not going to do anything until two seconds. So here it's not even there and then it'll start counting. So that's how, that's basically tween in Good 4 I hope you guys um, learned how to tween all your things that you want to do. So there's a bunch more functions that you can look at, like kill, parallel, pause, play, set ease, um, set trans. These are all really useful things, but these are probably the most important ones that I think changed from Good 3 to Good 4 um, You can check, you can um, tell me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. But for me, those were the biggest struggles. We still do have interpolate value, but... Um, I didn't go through that in this video. Um, you can look through it as well. It's very useful. It's not that it's useless. I just kind of skipped over it. Um, it's a bit complicated, I guess, in a, in a sense. And the other ones are very simple and easy to use. So this one yeah, allows you to have initial value and all that stuff. So um, hopefully you guys learned how to use Godot, uh, Tween and Godot 4. And if you guys did, hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.